Yo, what's up fam? Welcome back to the juiciest corner of YouTube where we spill all the tea on your favorite celebs. Today we're diving deep into the glitz and glamour of the entertainment world, so grab your snacks and let's get into it. First up, we gotta talk about Yang Zha, the queen of Chinese dramas, making waves in the blockbuster film YOLO directed by none other than Jia Ling herself. Yang Zha rocked the house as Do Do, the sneaky AF antagonist. She's all up in Jia Ling's grill, posing as her fam and snagging a gig as a TV station director. But then plot twist, she backstabs Jia Ling for her own come up, pushing her to the edge. Talk about savage moves, right? Now, Yang Zha ain't usually on that villain vibe, but she totally owned it in YOLO leaving the crowd shook with her slick performance. She's got everybody buzzing about her, yo. So rewind to 2021 when Yang Zha and Jia Ling first clicked at the Weibo Night Bash, thanks to Xiao Zhan's hookup. Yang Zha peeped Jia Ling's flick, Hi Mom, and was all about it. So Xiao Zhan played Cupid and Bam, new besties, they even Pinky promised to collab someday. Fast forward to Jia Ling stressing over asking Yang Zha to play the shady dodo. She's sweating bullets thinking Yang Zha might pass, but when she finally calls her up, Yang Zha's like, Heck yeah, sign me up for that villain gig, talk about a plot twist, am I right? Now peep this. Yang Zha and the OG actress Ma Li jumped on board Jia Ling's project without taking a dime, just for the love of friendship. But Jia Ling's all about that loyalty, so she tosses Yang Zha some cash as a token of appreciation. Ma Li though, she's in it purely for the love, no cash needed. YOLO ain't a big budget flick, so the main crew, including Jia Ling, Lei Jian, and Zhang Xiaofei, only bagged symbolic paychecks, but no worries, they'll get a cut from the box office cake later. And speaking of cash, YOLO is raking in mad stacks at the box office, with estimates flying high at 4 billion yuan. This flick's got Yang Zha crossing over from TV dramas to the big screen like a boss. And get this, Jia Ling's already cooking up her next joint, Johnny and Wakai tackling the anti-MLM scene. Yang Zha's set to play another villain, and we're all hyped to see her bring the drama once again. Next on the radar, we gotta give props to Wu Lei and Zhao Jinmai for slaying in amidst a snowstorm of love. So check it, Wu Lei, the heartthrob from Love Like the Galaxy and Nothing But You, just smashed it in amidst a snowstorm of love alongside Zhao Jinmai. They filmed this bad boy in Finland, splurging on those epic snowy landscapes to set the vibe just right. This drama is based on Mo Bao Fei Bao's novel Zai Bao Shui Shi Fen, and they pulled out all the stops getting Mo Bao Fei Bao to pen the script and bringing in Huang Tianren to direct, they switched up the backdrop from Boston to Finland, adding some extra magic to Wu Lei and Zhao Jinmei's chemistry. It's like the sweetest romance flick of the year, no lie. Now get this. Even though Amidst a Snowstorm of Love only ran for 30 episodes, they went all out shooting in Finland and making it way grander than your average modern drama. And here's the kicker. Before filming even kicked off, rumors were swirling about massive paydays for Wu Lei and Zhao Jinmai. And now, drumroll please, we've got the deets on their fat stacks. Wu Lei's leading the charge with a cool 12 million yuan in his pocket, while Zhao Jinmei's banking a solid 8 mil. But hold up, some peeps are saying Zhao Jinmei's getting shortchanged considering her fame and all. She might be low-key but she's got skills, yo. Now Wu Lei's been owning the game for a minute, even snagging the top spot among 95 generation male actors alongside Wang Hudi. But get this, while Wang Hedi's pulling in 8.8 .8 million for Only For Love, Wu Lei's flexing with that 12 million, leaving Wang Hudi in the dust. And with Amidst a Snowstorm of Love getting mad props, Wu Lei's shooting to the top of the 95 generation hunks. But hold on, there's another rising star on the block. Wang Xingyue's been killing it in Sen of Time and Story of Cunning Palace, dude's got mad talent, but his 4.5 million salaries peanuts compared to Wu Lei's bankroll. Still, peeps are saying he's the most bang for your buck in Amidst a Snowstorm of Love. Watch out world, Wang Xingyue's coming for that throne. Speaking of drama, we gotta spill the tea on Hero Legends, this series had all the makings of a smash hit, but it's hitting some major roadblocks. Chung Yi's been killing it lately, scoring big with Love and Redemption and Immortal Samsara, making him the top dog in the genre. But last year, he flipped the script with Mysterious Lotus Casebook, dipping his toes into Detective Wuxia and slaying the game with high ratings and mad props. Dudes got skills for days, serving up killer acting and slick action scenes that got fans begging for more. Now peep this, Hero Legends is about to drop, and the hype is real, it's based on the same lit martial arts novel by Sun Shao, Ying Shang Ji, and it's packing some serious heat, we're talking mysterious scrolls, epic martial arts showdowns, and enough drama to make your head spin. Fans are already salivating over the courage, patriotism, and romance packed into this bad boy. But hold up, here's where things get sticky. 
Hero Legends wrapped filming ages ago, but ain't nobody stepping up to invest in this gym. Word on the street is they jumped the gun on filming before locking down investors and broadcasters. And now they're stuck in limbo, the production crews keeping tight-lipped, not dropping any deets or even official pics, leaving fans in the dark like it never even existed. And if that ain't enough drama, supporting actress Zhang Jiani's caught up in some controversy from the Crazy Horse event with Lisa from Blackpink, landing her a year-long ban. Talk about a rough ride. Fans even whispered about hero legends getting the axe. But hold on to your hats, peeps, because there's a glimmer of hope. Angela Baby, who was also at the event, just popped back up on the scene, strutting her stuff and dropping pics like nothing happened. With her ban lifted, rumors are flying that Zhang Jiani's getting back in the game too, and hero legends might finally see the light of day this April. Cue the celebration, because fans are about to lose their minds. And last but definitely not least, let's talk about Young Mi and Gong Jun heating things up in Fox Spirit matchmaker Yue Hong. And let me tell ya, the chemistry between these two is sizzling hot. So, in the latest teaser, we catch Young Mi and Gong Jun flexing their fashion game in three killer looks. First up, they're strolling through a lantern festival, and Young Mi's rocking this red hot ensemble with floral vibes, while Gong Jun's keeping it classy in a green yellow robe. Their smiles, infectious AF, and you can practically feel the love vibes radiating off them. Then, we get a glimpse of them trekking through the desert, and let me tell ya, they're serving up some serious exotic vibes. Yang Mi's slaying in a white dress with black stripes, topped off with a chic scarf, while Gong Jun's rocking some desert swag with a gray scarf and stylish robe. Talk about a power duo in the sands. But wait, there's more. The closing scene has them standing hand in hand on a romantic bridge surrounded by lush greenery. Yang Mi's looking like a fairy princess in her pink skirt and chiffon dress, while Gong Jun's exuding charm in his brightly colored robe. Seriously, these two are melting hearts left and right. Fans are losing it over these glimpses, saying they're even better than the main promo pics, the detail and chemistry between Yang Mi and Gong Jun are off the charts, and missing out on using these as promo material would be a major fail. Get ready, cause Fox Spirit matchmaker Yue Hong is about to set the screen on fire. Well, that's a wrap for today's entertainment roundup, folks. Don't forget to drop your thoughts in the comments below, smash that like button, and hit subscribe for all the latest gossip. Until next time, stay fab and keep slaying. Peace out.